Hey, Brett. Hey, Brett. Jerry. Hey, how many people you taken down today? I'm a deck collector, Jerry. Not the Undertaker. <laughs> what's the difference? Don't you have spreadsheets to fill out or something? Yeah, I got spreadsheets. Hey, listen, what's it like out there? I'm sure it's an adrenaline rush, fighting crime and all. We're not the FBI. Taking down the bad guys in their crime syndicate? We're not a SWAT team. Getting the money for the boss, you know what I'm saying? You watch too many movies. All right, everybody, remember, it's not charity, it's business. We got one job, and that job is to get paid. We're gonna today, let's get paid. We're gonna, we're gonna persist today. And if that doesn't work, we keep going and we're gonna antagonize just a little bit, but you gotta make it happen. And then we're gonna get on down to that third letter. That's the I. I stands for interrogate. So P, A, I, and D, when all else fails, you gotta demand, cause we gotta get the money. Let's bring it together, you ready? We're gonna persist. That's what I'm talking about. We're getting it, we're gonna antagonize. And when that doesn't work, and last but not least, let's... That's what I'm talking about. Make it happen today, people. Make it happen. Hey, now seriously, let me ask you something. Has, has anybody ever, like, you know, pulled a gun on you? I could only imagine you threatening their lives and all. Threaten their lives. Taking everything they own. That's not life-threatening. It's a job, Jerry. Yeah, sure beats working here in the old math geek capital of the world. The thing about debt collecting is you've got to stay on your toes. Hold your ground. People will try to manipulate you, lie to you, and evade their debt at all costs. But you can't give in. Stay focused and let no one distract you. Hey, mister! What's in the briefcase? Stuff. What kind of stuff? Important financial stuff, not for little kids. I'm not little. I'm 12. Shouldn't 12 year olds be in school on a Tuesday? Kids trivia is being skewed. Come on. What do you do? You look like that guy from the Matrix, just not as cool. Look, I'm a debt collector. If anyone defaults on a credit card payment, personal loan, or medical bill, they sell it to my agency. We process their information, make it legal and scary, the whole works. And then I'm the one they send to collect the debt. Were you neglected as a child? Go to school, kid. No, I'm serious! I'm worried for you! This isn't normal! Oh, it's Bradley. Happy to see you. How are you today? Uh, I'm fine, ma'am. I'm a licensed debt collector from the Tony Caruso Debt Collection Agency. Any information we discuss will be oh, oh, shut the nonsense. Come on and have a glass of tea. Oh, sure. Okay, thank you. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Duval. Call me Claire, please. <laughs> All right, Claire. Thank you. According to our records, you have an outstanding balance of $57,456. Your late husband... Richard. Yes. Your husband, Richard Duval, was hospitalized for three months at the Newington Memorial Hospital. After his decease, a medical bill was forwarded to this address. After several attempts, the hospital sold the account to the Tony Caruso's credit services, where in which we set up a payment plan. Which I have been making. Yes, yes you have. $100 a month. Mrs. Duval, it would take you 45 years to pay off that astounding balance with that amount. My agency is concerned. Concerned I might die, and you won't get your money? My husband spent a lifetime trying to provide for me. I know you're just doing your job, but it seems like every time you come to my doorstep, you tear down in 10 minutes what it took him a lifetime to build, security. This should cover May and June, and have a good day. It's the old ones that are ruthless. On the outside, they act all sweet and senile, and they let you in, and then wham! They sucker you in with a sob story. Go to school! Go to therapy! Mr. Hammond, I need to talk about your debt. No one lives here by that name. Mr. Hammond, I need to talk to you. Nobody saw me. What, Miss Taylor? Mom, it's that Mormon guy again. 
you're not here to pick up the fridge. No, you're dead. Mr. Adler. No hablo inglés. No hay problema, podemos continuar en español si quieres. Oh, oh my, oh. What are you expecting to set up payments with this, Ryan? When I win the lottery, rob a bank. What's today? Tuesday. Probably the bank. Hello, Mr. Mr. Mosiev. It's Mosheev. Get it right. Subject in sight. Hold. Now! Go, go, go! Give me all you got, kids! Inside. Yeah, he's inside. <laughs> Brad, Brad, Brad. What can I do you for? Here. Kids, why don't y'all go play out back? Oh man, I thought we were gonna tie him up and play kidnap the decorator. It's okay, buddy. Next time. Well, Brad. It's always nice to see a friendly face. You're late on your payments again. I know, I know. You can't keep doing this. I keep trying to help you guys out before the state comes here and starts sticking your things away. I hear you. I don't think you do, Ron. You spend all this time playing games with your kids when you should start taking this seriously. Serious? You wanna see something serious? She's been this way the last three months. Just breathing on those machines. Doctors say it's caused by some autoimmune disease. First she couldn't walk, then she lost her eyesight, and now this. They basically just sent us home to see what happens. Last year we moved switched jobs and during the transition lost her health insurance and she got sick bills started coming in and we couldn't keep up with the payments fortunately the state decided to cover her medical expenses from here on out but those first six months uh, I don't expect you to understand but that debt is the last thing on my mind. I'll talk to my boss. See if we can give you a little more time. Frank. Hey, what, what, whoa, Frank. I need to talk to you for a moment. Can't talk now, Chad. I've got meetings, lots of meetings. I need to review your account, go over some of your options. These keys, I can never find the right one. Where's the key, Diane? Diane, where are the keys to the car? Right here, honey. Frank. You need to work with us. If you don't start working with us, it's only going to be making it worse. There are deadlines to these accounts. Look, I don't have your money. I don't have any of it. And apparently I missed the boat to the American dream because my business is sinking. I'll leave this for you then. You have a nice day, Dad. It's Brad.
How's it going in there? What do you think? Maybe I just need some room to breathe. Because you're my daughter. And we're a family. Yes, some family this is. Oh, Mia. Mia. <sighs> Afternoon. Can I help you? Yes, uh, my name is Brad. I'm a debt collector from the Tony Caruso Debt Collection Agency. I'm here to talk about your debt. We tried to reach you several times. Yeah, I figured someone would come knocking. I mean, come get your toys, please. You know, I graduated the top of my high school class. I went to college for biomedical engineering. I met a guy, fell in love, had a couple kids. And then he left me with a mountain of debt. And now I'm just trying to make it through the day without fighting with my daughter. How's that for success? I think you're doing pretty good, ma'am. Just gotta hang in there. It's not what this paper says. Well, I wanna keep you. I'll let you go. Brought my daisies again, huh? Well, I'm your grandson. I gotta do something nice for you. You do remember I'm your grandson, right? My heart's failing, Brad, not my brain. Oh, does the doctor say anything new? Well, they said I have a nice smile, which I'm not sure how that helps someone with congenital heart failure. Hmm. Well, what do I know? I'm not a doctor. <laughs> and you? How's the old debt collecting going? Are you still begging people for money? You know you could have chosen a more ethical career like politics. <laughs> well, it pays the bills. Have you ever heard of a cancellation of debt? Yeah, but you can't do that with everyone. Mm, no, but sometimes I think you need to give people another chance. Ooh, that's good. Life lesson 2473. Give people a second chance. And the next one you write down, young man, is don't be smart with your grandma. Well, just, I don't think it's up to me to be canceling people's debts. Maybe, maybe not. But just remember, we're all debtors in a way. We've all failed, fallen short, and messed up. Money may be more obvious, but it's no different. The fact remains that we all need someone to cancel our debts. Sounds to me like you've been solving the world's problems without me. Well, you keep writing notes in that little book of yours, and one day you'll understand. Now go get me a piece of chocolate cake from the cafeteria. Okay, Grandma. I'll be right back then. Brad, I'm gonna cut it straight to you. Business is not doing good. You like lemonade? Yes, sir. Good. Water's all I got. You see, I've found that in life, we don't always get the things that we want, but we always end up with the things that we need. I read that in a fortune cookie one time. See, what I want, I want for us to be the best collection agency in this county. But you see, Brad, that takes grit. It takes determination. It takes strategy. It takes a good team. But what I need, <laughs> I need for you to make that happen. I don't know what you mean. Take a look at this, Brad. What is it? Well, that's what I need. $374,000. That's what it takes to keep you and everyone else on the payroll. Well, I mean, we can work really hard, hard and then we... Brad, hard work's not gonna cut it. You, you've gotta push these people to the edge. How many active accounts are you working with right now? 43. 43. I think it's time we gave those guys the final notice. Final notice? Some of these have only been in our books for a couple of months. We can't do this to them. I mean, our policy is to at least give them six months no, to no, set up set Brad, Brad. You want me to get Jerry on it? Brad, I need you to make this happen. What's this? 
It's a final notice of payment. At the end of the month, the remaining balance must be paid in full. But I've been making payments. I'm sorry, I really am. I've got something else for you too. Here it is. Don't come back. Doctor said she would be here. Did you move her to another room? Her name's Marie Evans. I'm sorry. It appears that your grandmother has given you, Bradley Evans, her last living family member, a few of her items. First, as a benefactor of her will, she's left you with this painting. Come on. And this antique lamp. And lastly, the box, this box here, with a note, and it reads, Brad, we're all debtors. Love, Grandma Marie. Heart touching. Thank you. 
have great news for you. Oh, no, it's not a good time, Bradley. Please. Later. You need to read this. Miss Thompson. Miss Thompson. Oh. We have great news. As of April 17th, 2022, today, the outstanding balance of 37450 has been paid. The statement is hereby notifying Ron Carlson that the above mentioned amount is cleared. And the collection agency will no longer be contacting you of any further debts regarding this amount. Your debt has been paid in full. Our debt has been paid in full. My day is paid. Yes. Oh. Is this some kind of a joke? No, I'm serious. Really? Yes. Really, really? Yeah. Oh my goodness! Are you serious? Absolutely. I knew I really Thank liked you, Dad! Thank you! Through my friend! I'm so happy! I'm so happy! Oh, I can't read this! <laughs> no! ¿De qué? Claro que sí. Sí, sí, claro que sí. Gracias, señor. Gracias. Buenas tardes.